There's a reason this salon is called Herapy. Julie Lloyd says it's where her sister went to escape. She believes it was her happy place. I think this is where she felt like she could be an individual and really be herself because at home her identity was taken from her. In the salon where Erin Marshall worked, her picture is proudly placed on the wall. Tomorrow marks six years since she was beaten to death by her longtime boyfriend and the father of her two kids. The kids, six and nine at the time, were home the night it happened. Marshall's injuries were so severe, police initially reported she'd been shot. But it was later found out that it was blunt force trauma um, to the head, and it was just, it was really severe, so it, it appeared to be gunshot wounds. Lloyd says her family saw the red flags and tried to help. She was um, just honestly in a lot of denial. She always told us they were okay. While she couldn't save her sister, her death has sparked her advocacy. I think she wanted that awareness out. I think she wanted her kids to be safe. And the only way she could do that is channeling it through us. Lloyd wants people experiencing domestic violence to know help is out there. When it's that crime of passion and it's from that one person that, you know, you think that your loved one's safe with because that's the person they love and they clearly saw something good in that person. So it just it just really, you know, makes me worry that there's so many more people out there that potentially could put themselves in that same predicament. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.